President Buhari met with the state governors yesterday. Do you have a feeling he has now chosen his successor? I think yesterday was the clearest indication yet that President Mohamed Buhari will push for a consensus candidate as the APC prepares for his presidential primary election next Monday. And I have a feeling that he's not just going to be pushed for a consensus candidate. He has already made up his mind on who that candidate will be. Now, it looks like a Game of Thrones episode all over again happening in Nigeria. The APC, for emphasis, is Nigeria's governing party. And there's a likelihood that anybody President Buhari anoints will probably go on to emerge as flag bearer and will probably go on to win the general election. So the entire nation has been watching this process. Now, if you read the remarks President Buhari, carefully read the remarks President Buhari delivered yesterday to, to the state governors, who are very, very powerful and who control the delegates in their respective states. As a matter of fact, state governors will decide which way the delegates will vote during the primary. President Buhari told them that, look, I have been watching all of you carefully. In your various states, you impose local government chairmen. In your various states, you impose people who will succeed you. In fact, some of you get second term ticket on a platter. So now it's payback time. I want you to support me to choose my successor. That is essentially what the president was telling the governors yesterday. So I have been allowing you to run this party as you like. You, you go, you, 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 some of you, your deputies become governor. Some of you, whoever you anoint succeeds you. So it's my time now. I'm going to Spain tomorrow, but this is what I want to tell you. Essentially, that's what the president was telling them. And he used two words there that struck me. He said, I want continuity. Continuity means he wants his programs and policies to continue and he wants reciprocity. Continuity means that the only person right now I can see in the APC who can continue with the president's projects is his vice president, Yemi Oshibodja. That's why I think that right now, President Buhari may not have explicitly said that Oshibanjo is the one who he wants to succeed him, but I think everything is pointing in that direction. His body language, the clues are there all over the place in the statement uh, the president delivered yesterday. And I think that Oshibanjo will emerge the consensus candidate of the APC when they sit down to, to decide who will be that presidential flag bearer on Monday, June 6. Do you have any idea of what's going on in the volatility of this country? I think Bola Tinubu should be very afraid right now. And I think if if fillers on social media are anything to go by, even his camp at Jitri right now, he actually thought when he announced to the president that he wanted to run a couple of months ago that the ticket was going to be given to him on a platter, but it's not panning out that way for the Jagaban. As a matter of fact, he is so disgusted right now that Almost all his godsons, like I said in previous episodes, are coming out to say they want to run. So they are challenging their godfather and he doesn't like the feel of everything. And I think that Jagaban is uneasy and he has, he has a feeling that President Buhari is not very, very comfortable with handing over to him next May. And he doesn't like his body language and everything looks, looks off. Um, as a matter of fact, the the the, the tension the tension there's a lot of negativity within the Bola Tinubu camp at the moment. The man himself looks unsure when he speaks. Sometimes you have a feeling that he is um, mentally not there yet, and sometimes you wonder. I mean, we are coming from next year to be eight years after uh, babysitting a president who has to be going to London every day for medical checkup. You know, so we're asked Nigerians, certain Nigerians are asking themselves, do we want another president who we have to babysit, who we have to pay his medical bills to be going to London? So Bola Tinubu had all those health issues surrounding him. When he talks, sometimes his hands are, look at his left hand, whether it's his left hand or right hand, continuously shaking, you know. So it, Nigerians are in that place right now where they're asking themselves, do we want to spend another eight years nursing another president after coming out of not seeing one president for eight years and i think um, this will be a big factor not just for the apc for the entire nation so any last words on weekend's week i have no tears for yes or wiki the governor of river state he played bad politics wiki should have settled with peter b before he left the pdp and won't be in a situation now where PK, Wiki is crying all over the place and saying that 
the South South governors did not come together. They betrayed him. Shame on them. The North came together. Tambua worked with Wiki. For goodness sake, Wiki had an opportunity to work with Southern governors. Instead, he was jumping from one television station to the other to insult them. So who is Wiki really blaming right now for his own loss? You know, and I, 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 one of the governors has responded to him and said there was no way they were going to give the ticket to talk at him. Wiki talks damn too much. He needs to take a chill pill. So any last words? I think the APC presidential primary election will throw up a lot of surprises. surprises. And I think, like I said earlier, that Vice President Yemi Shibanjo is the anointed candidate. That's the pillars I'm getting. That's the clue I'm getting all over the place. That's what my sources in, in the presidency are saying. Now, look at everybody who has been touted to be the consensus candidate or where is appointed candidate. They've fallen apart or they've fallen out of the contest. A Mayfield is out. Um, no minister looks front and center anymore. Amechi is not there. You know, so all of these people were the ones people were saying were as anointed or blessed. But they've all fallen out. The conversation keeps going Oshibanjo's way in the media. And various sources are telling journalists that this is the candidate of the vice president. And it's just logical. Various sources have also continued to tell me that the person, the person President Buhari wants is somebody who will continue with his projects. Buhari, um, Oshibanjo, I beg your pardon, has been working with him for seven years now. It's only logical that I think he's the one he wants to hand over to. Let's watch Stone Fools. And that's politics on court.